amazing moment in history where essentially three billion global workers have found themselves working from home. So we had plans in place saying, okay, if sales drops dramatically down, uh, how can we survive? How can we pay our salaries? One thing that, that we've, we've learned um, during this crisis is the importance of over-communicating. I think that face-to-face -face interaction with our customers where we'd meet them on a regular basis was all of a sudden overnight gone. There's probably only three words that really spring to mind and that is security, security and security. What is your ability to maintain business um, in the event of a crisis? I could see that joining the kind of uh, list of things that get added to contracts going forward. We talk a lot about agility and speed of change and transformation. And I think for a lot of people, it's brought home to them that that just isn't possible without the right IT. I think we, you know, we went through the whole period of getting everybody working remotely from home and, the, you know, the, the mad rush to do that. We were through that quite quickly. And then we're into, well, actually, how do we develop and adapt as a business now? So there's been a shift away from pure network infrastructures towards more unified communications asks. So everybody's tech at core, everybody's a digital company. Actually, it's true. And therefore, they need to get the IT right to enable them. Because if they don't, they won't survive. How do we reinvent ourselves? So what have we done out of necessity that is now delivering results? Nobody wished for this period, but it's been quite an incredible enabler for, for adoption of new technology throughout our, our organizations.